He was laying there broken, uh, bleeding in, in excruciating pain. A Parsons, Kansas family is speaking out in hopes of finding the driver responsible for the serious injury of 18 year old Andrew Scott. This is KOAM News at 6. Andrew was hit by an unknown vehicle at 2.30 a.m. on Saturday while walking home from a party and left for dead. KOAM's Kate Kelly shares his story of survival as he begins the long road to recovery. Andrew Scott is a young man his family describes as vibrant and full of life, caring and generous. They just celebrated an early Christmas together when they got the call that he'd been hit by a vehicle after walking away from a party. His family rushed to be with him. All he could do was, was, was cry out about how he felt like he wasn't going to make it and, and that he was so glad that we were there. And that's, that was the hardest thing is to watch your, your children laying there in a way that you know you can't do anything to help them. I'm standing in the area where the hit and run took place. Somewhere along this stretch of 35th Street and Southern Avenue, Andrew was struck from behind. He managed to drag himself into the ditch where he waited for hours calling for help before it came. He was laying there trying to call for help but he was not able to do it with any kind of force or any volume. He had punctured his lung, he had broken several ribs, he was just massively beaten and bruised and bleeding. And so he laid in in somebody's yard for about two hours before someone got up in the morning and was taking their dogs out and heard him and called the police and, and they responded to it. Andrew was life flighted to Freeman Hospital in Joplin. With COVID restrictions, only his mother could be with him, but she phoned and Andrew's older brother says hearing his voice was both a relief and heart wrenching. He was just completely heartbroken. Like he was just in tears. He was like, I miss you. Please, like, I don't want to be here. Like, I'm so scared. And I was like, I know, Bob. Like, I know you're scared. Like, it's, you know, and it's really hard to uh, hear your babe brother <clears throat> as tough as he is. Uh, sound like that. Police are still looking for the driver responsible for Andrew's injury. In a statement, Parsons Police Chief Robert Spinks said in part, this kind of incident is tragic and upsetting for multiple reasons. First, that someone can hit a pedestrian and continue on without stopping. Secondly, we have heard that there are persons with knowledge of the possible suspect in this case, but are withholding this information in hopes of gaining financially from Mr. Scott's injuries and terrible circumstances. Andrew's family is asking for answers, knowing that having justice will be part of his healing process. We'll come together as a community and we'll get through it. Um, but I want to see that, that he knows that not only is the community there, but the people that were involved in this also, you know, aren't going to just be able to walk away from it without any consequences. In Parsons, Kate Kelly, KOAM News. If you have any information regarding this case, please call the Parsons Police Department. For those who'd like to help Andrew's family with medical expenses and other costs, we've included a link to their GoFundMe page in this article on our website, koamnewsnow.com. A 